Teachers, parents and students are all counting down to the end of the Columbus Education Association's contract with Columbus City Schools. After hours of negotiations produced no agreement, the teachers could strike just days before the new school year. About 45 minutes ago, CCS Superintendent Dr. Talisa Dixon tweeted this message to students. I want you to know that you are my priority. Now, we know CCS is still preparing for a remote start to the school year. 10 TV's Kiana Dice has spent time with parents who are gearing up for classes in the middle of all of this. Kiana. Well, Andrew and Yolanda, CCS says no matter what, school will start Wednesday. Many parents are worried about what the start of the school year will look like. I talked to several today at a school supply drive at a Columbus school. We have uniforms for the kids, we have backpacks full of supplies, we have baby items. At Trevitt Elementary School, families lined up to collect free uniforms and backpacks. If it's something that, you know, is given to me and my children, we are grateful for it. I'm definitely grateful. Right now we're in um, a situation where everyone is in need. Tiffany Smith is sponsoring the event. She's the founder of Evelyn's Heart Foundation. My foundation is named after my mom. She was actually a teacher at Trevitt Elementary School. Um, I started my foundation after her death, and so everything that I do um, as far as this foundation is concerned is for her. As parents fill backpacks with supplies, they say they're concerned about what the first day of school will look like. Their worries come after 12 hours of negotiations and no agreement between Columbus City Schools and the teachers union. Right now, the sticking points are the conditions of school buildings and pay. Many parents today siding with teachers. We all struggling. If they need the money, why not? I'm, I'm going to be honest. Why not? You know, we all need more money. Ebony Cobb has five students in CCS schools. She says if teachers strike, some parents will too. I feel like if they don't have no teachers, then they won't have my kids. And if you're a parent and the thought of a strike makes you nervous, CCS is holding a family resource fair tomorrow at the Fort Hayes campus from 10 to 3 p.m. You can go there to get all of your questions about the first day of school answered by the district. Yolanda. All right, thanks, Kiana. Now, there is an online resource for parents as well, so just head to 10tv.com slash featured links to find a link to the back-to-school guide from CCS.